Hello, hey there Salesforce people. Welcome back to the channel Panther School. My name is Amit Singh and in this video I am going to walk you through a very important VS Code extension that will boost your productivity while you are working with the Lightning Web Components. So I'm going to talk about the extension name Salesforce LWC Sort Keys. This extension I've been using from a very long time and this is really helpful for me to boost my productivity. Now let's quickly jump, jump into this and see how we are going to make sure our productivity is increased or how this extension is helping us to increase our productivity. So first thing that you have to do is you have to install this extension. So as you can see the name of extension on your screen is Salesforce LWC sort keys. So go to this extension tab and search for Salesforce LWC sort keys and you will find this extension. I have already installed so I'm getting uninstall and disable button. But if you have not installed you have get an install button over here. Now after you have installed your extension is already there in the system. Now we need to see how we can take the help to, uh, to work with our particular lightning web component either in HTML or in our JavaScript file. So to do that, let's quickly create a lightning web component. I'm going to name it as uh, sort keys demo. So this is our VS code, not, not VS code, our component we've just created. Now let's say here something we wanted to make a wire call. We wanted to make a wire call to the Apple's class. How we are going to do that? So just type wire. As soon as you tap wire, you will see that there is a wire message context, wire with parameter, wire without parameter. So you can see here, if you select wire with parameter, you are going to get the complete code over here. And you can just say, you just import wire method on the top, change the method name, provide whatever the parameter you wanted to pass to a pest class. Now here, you will say, okay, we got this wire, how to import the Apex class. So you have to do is IMP colon, or you say, just type IMP, and you will see here all the import statements. How you're going to import Apex class, if you see here, okay. And you say IMP, you will say LWC Apex class. If you click on that, it is going to give you the line. You just have to replace your class, the method name, provide whatever the method name it is, and put it here your error is gone this is very simple you wanted to import uh, for example uh, some labels you wanted to import custom permissions uh, you wanted to use navigation you wanted to use object info methods just select that all the methods will be imported which are important for you or you wanted to import some some methods related to LDS UI record API, you can easily see all the methods has been imported for you. So this is again an extension which is going to give you the sort keys. All you need to do is just remember when you can use what kind of thing. Now this is wire we have talked about, right? Let's say that uh, there is a method, some, some, some method we have, okay? And on this method, you wanted to call the APIS class imperatively. How you're going to do that? So here you can just search for LWC or you search for Apex. As soon as you search for Apex, you will see Apex with param or without param, right? If you select with param, you will see the whole code is here. You just need, all you need to do is change the method name. For example, like get data, provide what parameters you want. It is already handling the promise, handling the error. This is how it is happening, right? It's very easy to do that. Now, for example, you wanted to create an event, the custom event. Okay, so you can say LWC and you will see LWC event, LWC with event detail. If you click on that, you will see the structure for that event. If you again type LWC, you will find, for example, you wanted to navigate to a item page, to a knowledge article, to a lightning component, object page. You wanted to show the toast message. You can clearly see here that all these things are already here you select whatever you want you want to you wanted to navigate to lightning web component you can clearly see the structure is here sorry 
this is for knowledge articles. If you wanted to navigate it to an object page, you can see the structure is here. How easy it is for us as a developer, we can leverage this extension. And now let's talk about uh, in terms of uh, JavaScript methods. If you wanted to kind of uh, uh, work with the uh, like you have an array, you wanted to iterate with all arrays and do some manipulation on that. So how you do is you type ARR and you will see all the methods related to array like filter, find, for each. You see here the structure is here. If you want index, you can say array for each with index. You kind of getting this. If you wanted to use a map method, you can use map. The syntax will be there. So all the methods related to array is already there. Now sometimes there is a requirement for uh, using a query selector to fetch some information from UI. So how you can do it, you just type query. You will see query selector, you will see set attribute, query selector all, and you will see every single code is there. So that is basically you can use, that is how you can use in the JavaScript this extension. And now if we talk about uh, into the HTML format, for example, you wanted to display a button or you wanted to type an input. So you can just say LWC and you will see here, you can say LWC colon input, input address. It is going to give you the whole bunch of lines. Or if you say LWC colon, LWC colon input, it is going to give you the input. You can select what type you want password, toggle or anything. What is the variant, standard or label hidden, name, label like that, right? Now you got, you, you are done with the input form, right? You can also uh, say, for example, you wanted to use a lightning card. So you'll say LWC colon card. You select, the code is here. Now you need to change the icon. If you want this button, you can keep it, otherwise remove it. If you want the footer, keep it. If you want to change it to a paragraph, to division, and that kind of thing, you can make the cosmetic changes that you have. Sometimes you wanted to have the layouts to make the LWC responsible, right? So you responsive. So you select LWC colon layout. You got the layout is here. So, and if you type LWC colon, not LWC colon. If you just type LWC, you will see all the sort keys that you can use like LWC for each, record view form, record edit form, spinner, tab set, text area, vertical navigation. So th there are so many sort keys that you can use here. And it, it, it these are going to save a lot of time for you like input location. You will see here like this, okay? You've got LWC colon, uh, like say you wanted to uh, get a checkbox group. You will see checkbox group. Okay. You got uh, LWC colon and you wanted to file upload or dual list box data table, right? Data table is again one of the most used, uh, we can say tag which we wanted to use within LWC. So it is going to give you the things that you can easily understand. You can easily make the changes and it will help us to produce uh, like help us to boost your productivity whenever you are working. Now you don't have to worry about the syntax. You just need to use sort keys. The syntax is there, make the required changes, make the cosmetic changes and you're done. So let me know into the comment section what you think about this extension. This is really cool extension as for me. And also let me know what extension you wanted me to explore next. I'm going to put some other Google Chrome extension, some uh, VS Code extension into the coming days. So thank you for watching the video. And before you go ahead, please give it a like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any update from channel Panther Schools. Thank you.